Hello, my friends. I thought today I would uh, demonstrate for you uh, some simple white flowers you might want to do as an embellishment on a pour. Um, I'm using Artist Loft paints, black, white, um, metallic white, and metallic black, although that's not even necessary. You could keep it really simple with just black and white. Um, I've already started a couple of them, and I'll do this one for you. Find yourself a photo reference to work from. Um, this was from Pixabay. It was a pink flower, but I knew I wanted white, so I just printed it in black and white. I just chalked on my paper uh, the basic shapes, but if you're uncomfortable with freehanding, you can use transfer paper and um, transfer it on, or you can chalk the back of this and... Uh, you use tissue, uh, tra mm, tracing, tracing paper, not not just this. Um, put chalk on the back and then use a fine tip marker and go over the shape and it will transfer nicely onto your canvas. First, you should give a light spray of a matte spray. I use Krylon. <clears throat> Gives it a little bit of tooth, something for the paint to hold on to so it's not sliding around on your pore. Dry, of course. <laughs> All right, then you need some brushes. If you don't have one of these, get yourself a filbert brush. See that nice round edge as opposed to a flat brush? It just makes the petals make themselves. You'll love it. They come in a variety of sizes, of course. You'll want a, um, a round brush. This is going to be for dabbing in color on the center. I have a flat brush here just in case I want it, um, but I don't know that I'll need it. And then a liner. I decided to kind of go around the edges of the petals with some little loopy squiggles. Don't know that I should have done that. I almost liked it before I did that, but now I'm stuck with it, so I must continue. So that's what this brush is for. Okay. Uh, let's get started. I'm going to start by using the, the filbert brush and mixing some uh, white and black to come up with a medium gray tone. Not too dark, but not too light. <laughs> and we're just going to block in our petals with... Uh, with this. So watch how easily you can make a petal shape. You just place your brush down, flatten it a bit, and then lift it up. You're going to want to reload frequently. I'm not really trying to follow the picture so much. I just kind of liked the, the shape and the direction they were going. Um, doesn't have to follow exactly. Keep in mind the center of your flower, and that's where you're always going to want to bring your um, petals towards. I'm going to go right over this stem. I did that one already because I want this flower to be probably the focal point. So, kind of lifting up as I get to the end of the petal. I mean, the base actually at the end. So, I'm smashing it down and kind of twisting it a little bit. Keep your brush moist. I do have some blending gel here I, I could have used. I put it out and I barely used it before these two, so it's not really necessary. But if you have it, it might help you a little bit with your open time. just be loose and free with it. The further up you hold your brush from the, from the ferrule, this is the ferrule, the looser and, and more relaxed your stroke will appear. It's 
So I think we'll, we'll be happy with that. We'll just start with that. Oops, paper towel. Okay, clean. When you brush, it dries really fast, especially if you don't use the blending gel. So, um, you know, you can you can work wet on wet, but um, I think it might be easier to start with just dry. I mean, it's it's almost dry now. Um, but well, let me uh, let me work on that base there in a little bit. That's going to be darker. I'm going to use a metallic just for fun and a bit of metallic white. And I'm just going to make a little cup shape base there. And that's probably sufficient. Stem down a little bit. Don't don't bring your stems all the way to the bottom of the canvas. Just let it float in space there. There's the end. This one's a little thick, but um, I could come back. Well, it is dry now. I could come in here and shave. Shave off some of that stem. Not. This is an awkward angle for me, so I didn't, uh, not very good. But because I had solid black under there, I just kind of feather it out. Anyway, a little more graceful looking that way. Nice curves to them. All right, so once you get your, your base coat down in a medium, kind of a dark tone, and it's really nice if you can let some of your pore show through, like up here. I didn't have to do any shading. That's really the pore that's showing through. It's really nice if you can incorporate that. So keep that in mind. Don't worry about, about covering up. All right, um, clean brush. And I'm gonna come with um, more white, still a little bit of gray, but lighter. And I'm gonna go right over those Strokes are made, holding it far back on the brush and just kind of overlap. Oops, I covered up. <laughs> I covered up part of the pore that I meant to preserve, but that's okay. And the photo reference is just to a starting point. Um, certainly not trying to be realistic here or uh, anything, but it just helps you kind of with pedal direction and ideas of shapes. So you're going to get lighter and lighter as you go. You might, oh, maybe I should change brushes. Let me, let me get this. This is a flat brush. I will use that. And, uh, Come in with even more white and maybe just from the edges bring in little little strokes there you can almost get the same look with the flat brush as a filbert, you smash it down and and then lift. This doesn't look anything like the um, my reference photo flower, but that's fine. We want it to. It's, um, I think it was a Cosmo. Beautiful eight petaled flowers, but these are looking more like 
what, a mum? <laughs> I'm going to go back to that large filbert brush. I'm going to come in with straight white now. And really make that come to life. Loading the brush frequently. Don't go over everything because you want the oops. You want your dark to show through or you're you lose all definition. Um you can do the whole thing with one brush really. Maybe that's maybe that's best. I'm gonna pick up some little petals here. Just flick them up to connect that in the cup of the flower with them. Um, with the petals. Gotta have somewhere to go. Now let's add a center because that one looks too much like this one. This one is from the side so you don't see the center, but I want to show you how that's done. This is when you'll take your um, maybe a small flat brush just dab in some dark, keeping in mind the direction of the petal and shape. This is like a big, like a ball here, you know, the base of the flower and, and that center that we're going to see part of. Oops, that's this metallic. I I want to add a little more dark at the base of it, maybe sprinkle using the one corner of the brush to add a few dots. If you're uncomfortable using the corner of the brush like that, just um, dip the, the end into maybe your paint. And um, bam, easy. Okay, I'm not going to add any leaves to this. I'm just going to go with stems and um, flowers. These are very, if, if I'm kind of following these types of flowers, they're very rangy looking leafy things and I don't want to have too much of a distraction so I'm going to leave that. Now since I added these squigglies on the other two I would look funny I think if I don't do it here so let me get my um, very long um, liner brush out make a watery this is where your blending medium might be helpful But you want a very thin mix. Again, holding it back further on the brush will give you nice, relaxed, loopy squiggles. Well, that wasn't very good. <laughs> you can hardly see it. Yeah, let's try another one. Definitely a fantasy flower. There's nothing real about this. Um, you know, just play. That's all. We're, we're just playing. See where you need more, more light. You can always go back and add more dark. Just don't lose your dark. That would be tragic. Um, 
Uh, I'll work on these stems a little bit more. I kind of like the look right there. That looks nice. This one's okay. This one needs work. But anyway, I don't want to, I don't need to be um, keeping you here all day. But um, let me also show you, people have been interested in the, the frames I get from Wholesale Arts and Frames, the wooden ones I've shown you. But let me show you another option they make. It's made of polyurethane, recycled material. I buy these, they're only about, uh, this is a 10 by 20. They're only about seven dollars a piece this one's pretty beat up but just to give you an example an idea of what it looks like on let's see let me i gotta pick this thing up that's what i'll do give you an idea of how easily you can dress up a a simple pour with um some flowers and um, a frame. Nothing fancy. But it's different. I love when pores can stand on their own, but sometimes they just need a little boost. And, uh, this is a simple way to do it. Well, thank you for being here today. I hope you enjoyed this, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.